Good day, YouTube. It is November 7th, 2021. And this is a Troy built a lawn tractor. Um, I don't think it's very old. Uh, I looked around it for a tag or something with a year on it. Don't really come up with it. Um, what I do know is it hasn't had much use. The deck itself, I mean, there's it's been sitting around. You see it's got moss growing on it, but this hasn't been in the car wash yet today. Um, but the the paint's not even wore off of it. The tires are original and all hold air and it's not beat up. Uh, the paint's just a tad faded on the top, but I actually think it'll polish out. The seat wasn't ripped, although it's getting kind of crispy, so it's probably not long for this world. Um, pretty good little lawn tractor and complete. Um, it says it's a seven speed. Not sure how that works, but there are seven speeds there. Uh, throttle, forward, reverse, cup holder. Um, again, nice clean little machine. Uh, what do we got under the hood? It's a Briggs 15 and a half, 500 cc overhead valve. Um, just been sitting, needs some love. Um, what I can tell you, the only thing I've looked at so far is the gas tank is empty, the oil is over full and smells like gas. So, she has been sitting a while. So we got to change the uh, oil before we even think about doing anything with it. But uh, no fuel in it. Um, we're going to just make sure it's uh, safe to try to start and then try to fire it up. See what happens. Um, there are some, certainly some commenters on that think uh, I should... Uh, put in, I guess, new battery, rebuild the carburetor, do a full tune-up oil change, filters, all that stuff before ever trying to fire one of these up. Uh, don't really subscribe to that because um, of that motor's junk. I just spent $100 that I didn't need to spend. So let's not do that. But we'll just get this thing uh, safe to fire and we'll do that. But again, first thing we got to do is get that oil out of there. Um, we'll do that. Um, I forgot to on the last video. We just finished up a video on this uh, really clean little John Deere missing the deck, unfortunately. She's got a 22 horse B twin. Um, but here's how I acquired these. So, uh, my dad's starting to work on walk behind mowers, um, kind of a new hobby for him. And uh, there was a ad on Marketplace. Is anybody in my town uh, pick up? lawn mowers and uh, I just jumped in there and says I do <laughs> and next thing you know um, another person said hey I've got one to pick up too so Friday night after work I go pick up this and then also a walk behind at the same place and I went to that other person that chimed in there and says I've got one and picked up another walk behind so Friday evening I have three before dinner so my wife and I go to dinner one of our favorite restaurants um, as we're waiting for our food um, what else sitting there on marketplace or Craigslist or something looking for you know everything and I get this idea so what if I place an ad that I'll pick up mowers tomorrow morning Saturday morning and I thought ooh, that'd be a good idea so I did um, you place the ad on and my town has this, uh, you know, my town happening page on Facebook, and I posted the ad there. Um, an admin has to approve it. They approved it about 7:30, and then Bing, 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 Bing. I just start getting inundated with, "Hey, I got a mower. Hey, I got a mower. Hey, I got a mower." The next thing you know, I'm like, "This is funnier than heck to be." I'm like, "What in the world?" So. I said, okay, shoot me an address. I'm gonna go out early in the morning, you know, eight o'clock, and start picking mowers up. Well, fast forward, I won't uh, give you all the details. Fast forward to about noon, or, or yeah, about noon, 11 or noon yesterday, Saturday. I had picked up this one, plus the two walk behinds. I had picked up that, yes, free, Yes, free, and a total of, let me count, 
seven walk behinds. The two I got Friday night plus five more. I loaded up my my little rig and my trailer and hauled seven mowers to my dad's house, but they were still coming in. So on my way home from the Oregon coast, I picked up four more. So I picked up a total in 26 or 27 hours, 13 free lawnmowers. Two were riders and the other 11 were uh, walk behinds. And I forgot it was, you know, we're switched back from daylight savings time today. And I was up very early and I decided I'm going to run back to the Oregon coast, which I did, and delivered four more to my dad. So he's got 11 from me. And uh, I've got these, a uh, couple little sweetheart uh, ride mowers um, for free and I just enjoy the heck working on them I know my dad enjoys working on the walk behinds it's a fun hobby um, so let's get into this one so let me get the oil drain out of this because I'm guarantee you she's a uh, runny gassy it's very thin you can see it's very clean it's too clean um, so I know it's just drained into there I don't think it's ever been run with it in there and uh, again the tank is empty empty so probably gonna have to clean the carb but hey let's uh, go for a run and uh, see what happens all right let me get a drain pan underneath this thing and let's get to draining well it didn't take long to get the gas out of the crankcase <laughs> um, that pan wasn't all uh, Troy built oil uh, it was also a couple quarts of John Deere oil she come running out. That crankcase ought to be nice and clean. We're going to let that drain for a little while. Get everything out of there. In the meantime, I might put just a little bit of fuel in there. I grabbed a can when I went and got non-ethanol fuel for the John Deere. I filled the John Deere. I had it in the trailer anyway. Let's just fill the tank while it was in the trailer. And uh, put some in the can. Because my 30-gallon fuel station that I keep non-ethanol fuel is getting pretty low. It's just about out. So... Uh, but I don't want to deal with that big thing today in the rain. So uh, we'll just put a little bit of fuel in there. Let that carburetor start soaking and make sure the needle and seat get happy. And all that, we'll let that drain and we'll put some oil in it. Yeah, a little fuel. It's clean in there. I don't see a shut off. So we're not going to fill it or anything. Just put a or All right, I'm going to slip that drain plug back on there. All right, I got some 520 uh, synthetic. Um, it was kind of special per purchase oil. And uh, I don't use it in anything. I think it's a little thin, but we use it in this. And I uh, threw the battery charger on this when I brought it home yesterday. And uh, it looked like it uh, was taking a charge. So we might have a battery. Let's find out. Put some oil in her. It did spill over here. If she runs and drives, we'll take it to the car wash and clean it up. It's really dirty. this takes probably a quart maybe more let's find out survey says Just at the bottom of the safe zone. Yeah, 
it'll be good for starting purposes. Um, speaking of starting, gas, oil, maybe a battery. Is it out of gear? Yes. Uh, seat switch or brake on? Is there a brake lock? Okay, let's see if she cranks. Gravity feed fuel. Other charger. Let's run two chargers. Oh, oh yeah, more power. If I run this other charger, it's got a 50 amp boost cycle on it. All right, we're going double chargers. It's going to be great. Boost. 50 amps. Go, go, go. You pop the air cleaner. It's clean. I think I got one like that. Let me grab some spray assistance. Okay. I do smell a little bit like bad fuel, so there probably was a little something in the carburetor. See if he can eat it. Alright. Double charger. Choke's on. Here we go. little too high. Alright, the governor arm is definitely stuck. Sprayed a little WD of 40 on it. Won't go with my finger, but let's try to gently tap on it. Back and forth. some more stuff on it. I don't know if it's stuck at the carburetor or probably. Working on spring action now. That's good. That's good. All right, let's try again. Maybe it won't rev to 9,000 RPM. Let's 
sit you over here. Be in the way in case it throws a rod. Back to choke. You gotta hold that brake down. There's got to be a brake lock on this thing somewhere. Oh, there it is. There we go. Oh, it's getting uncomfortable. I want to just let it run for a little while.
It's going to run okay. All right. Let's uh, be clean up my tools here a little bit. We're going to make sure it drives okay, throw it on the trailer, go get it cleaned up, and then we'll continue servicing. Will it start again? I'm gonna go run her through the car wash and I'll be back. Okay, once you get this thing cleaned up, you realize that this thing ain't very old. If we're still talking nubs on the tires. Um, almost, well, just a few scratches on the deck. Um, no real rust on it. Um, with a little elbow grease, she'd shine. There's even paper stickers still on that inside of that tire. So I tried to get the deck clean. I said I missed a spot or two, but um, yeah, she cleaned up nice. There was no grease at all on the engine block. You know when I pulled that drain plug, um, it's just that good. It's great for a freebie so um, I, I know I need to pull the carburetor and clean it I did put you know fresh fuel and a bunch of sea foam in it um, I'm not gonna have time uh, this is a, a, a probably a winter project to take this and kind of finish it um, I certainly did want it to run and operate especially move under its own power it's awesome um, and to see where this thing was um, I I will probably order up an air filter for it. I don't have any of that type. Um, check what kind of spark plug this thing's supposed to have. I probably have one on the shelf. Because when I do sell these off, um, I like to say, you know, they're completely tuned in service. They are ready to roll. We'll put a new battery in it. Those are the things that people like to see. Um, this one won't need tires. These were all held air. But, you know, we'll just adjust them. So let me get three in the stand and we'll just drive it around just a little bit. I'm not sure what this transmission is in this. Um, it goes forward in reverse. It feels uh, very solid, similar to a hydro, but uh, I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's it's unique, I guess. So let me throw you in the stand, and we'll back it off the trailer, run it around a little bit, and uh, we'll call this one a day.
die. That's what it's going to do. But uh, very, very happy with this. I mean, what do you want for free, right? Um, it's a cute little thing. Cute little grill. Um, put a couple of LEDs in them headlights. Make them pop. Clean up on the lenses there on the inside and out. It'll be awesome. Guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate the comments. Give me a thumbs up on the way out. I'd appreciate that. Hey, guys, we'll see you on the next video.